Input and parameter checking. This is a huge common flaw. If you pay attention to security mailing lists or security alerts, you will commonly see, probably even to the frequency of multiple times per week, certainly multiple times per month, depending on the size of the mailing list you're looking at, you're going to see lots and lots of errors that are patched and fixed because of a lack of input and parameter checking. Malformed input can lead to the dreaded buffer overflow or other intended results. The buffer overflow is one of the security vulnerabilities that is extremely easy but at the same token difficult to maintain or to fix. It's easy to fix because you can find the error fairly quickly if you know what you're looking for. It's also difficult to fix because it exists in so many different areas. A buffer overflow is really nothing more than sending more data to an input statement than he expects to receive. What he'll do is he will take the data and if he doesn't check the size of the data that he read in, he may store it in a specific memory location and the excess data kind of spills over into the next memory location. If you're careful and you know what you're doing, or if an attacker is careful and knows what he or she is doing, you can cause unintended results based on the programmer side, but perhaps intended results on the attacker side. You can cause some really funky things to happen by overflowing buffers. Most normally what you want to have happen is an attacker wants to crash a program and then gain access in privileged mode. You want to make sure that never happens. Other intended results include things such as SQL injection type of attacks. An attacker may very well be able to pass an actual SQL statement in through your web application if you don't check the input parameters. The input parameter may be passed directly on into your database and allow an attacker who knows how to use SQL injection attacks to extract tons of information that he or she should never be able to see. So the bottom rule is always check every piece of input you get whether it comes from end user input or if it's passed as a parameter. Never trust any input.